Hello everybody, this is Yogesh Singh from ASC Bangalore. So this video is going to be about problem solving technique for BJT amplifier AC analysis part. So if you are preparing for the gate, this video is going to be very important for you. Because whatever shortcuts and tricks I have been developing throughout my entire gate preparation, I am going to tell you all the shortcuts and tricks in this video. So you can solve the question within 30 seconds and within a minute. Okay? So there are some things that you know, then you can also use the questions in AC analysis. You don't need to make a small signal model. You can solve the questions in a small signal model without that solve. कर सकते हैं ओके तो बेसिक से स्टार्ट करते हैं वीडियो को एंड तक देखना मे बी वीडियो कैन बी अ बिट लेंदी बट इट्स रियली वर्थ इट ओके सो बेसिक से स्टार्ट करते हैं uh, अगर आपने एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स अभी तक नहीं पढ़ा है तो फिर भी आप इसके क्वेश्चन इस वीडियो को देखने के बाद आराम से सॉल्व कर सकते हैं ओके okay? तो स्टार्ट करते हैं विद बीजेटी एम्पलीफायर सो बीजेटी एम्पलीफायर इन द एम्पलीफायर वी यूज अ बीजेटी ट्रांजिस्टर विच इज टू टाइप्स सो बीजेटी दो टाइप का होता है एक होता है एन और दूसरा होता है PNP, ओके okay? और दोनों को कैसे डिफ्रेंशिएट करते हैं डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट से ओके सो एन पी एन में डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट बेस टू एमीटर होता है ओके सो आई होप आपको ये बेसिक तो पता होगा कि कि बेस टर्मिनल कौन सा होता है दिस इज द बेस टर्मिनल एंड दिस इज कलेक्टर टर्मिनल एंड दिस इज एमीटर टर्मिनल और दिस इज पी एन पी बिकॉज डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट बेस टू एमीटर है ओके okay? अगर डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट अपोजिट होता है दैट इज This is emitter and direction of current is emitter to base. Then uh, this is a PNP transistor. Okay, so BJT transistor को circuit में use करते हैं as a amplifier. And uh, when we use that transistor, तो हमारे पास चार तीन types के configuration मिलते हैं. Okay, that is one is common emitter and second is common collector and third is common base. Okay, again common emitter दो types का होता है. एक होता है common emitter without RE. Okay, there is no RE. Okay, and the second is common emitter with RE. Okay, so in the circuits, how do they look? And this is common emitter without RE. Emitter terminal is directly connected to a ground. Okay, and in the common emitter, we have emitter terminal grounded. We give input at base and we take output from collector. Okay, and common emitter with RE, we have a RE resistance that is connected between ground and emitter terminal of the transistor. Okay. So this is RE and this is uh, RE is connected to a ground and uh, one point of RE is connected to a emitter terminal. So in this also we give input to base and we take output from the collector. So input and output current ke beech mein ek relation hota hai that is IC equals to beta times IV. Okay. So beta uh, common emitter ka current gain hota hai. Okay. So similarly in case of current in case of uh, common collector we have a collector grounded. So and uh, this is collector and this is grounded and we take output from emitter okay this, this is how we take output and uh, input we are giving at base okay so this is base uh, this is emitter and this is collector so iske input or output ke current ke beech mein ek relation hota hai that is ic equals to gamma times ib okay and gamma we can write in terms of beta that is gamma equals to beta plus 1 okay so gamma is the current gain of a common collector okay similarly in case of common base we have a base grounded and we give or we take input from emitter and we take output from we give input at emitter and we take output from collector and base is grounded this is base this is grounded okay and iske input or output current ke beech mein ek relation hai that is ic equals to alpha times ie okay and alpha we can write in terms of beta that is beta upon beta plus 1 okay so this is the current gain of common base that is alpha and we can write this beta in terms of alpha that is beta equals to alpha upon 1 minus alpha okay so ye basic relation of current gain aapko pata hona chahiye questions mein iski bhot you know jarurat hoti hai questions mein right to aapko ye basics pata hona chahiye right now uh, we will start with the you know AC analysis okay so this basic uh, you should know and we will start with AC analysis so in AC analysis, AC analysis of BJT amplifier, AC analysis. So AC analysis of BJT amplifiers we have in three categories. Okay. So one is AC analysis at low frequencies. Okay. And uh, second is AC analysis at high frequencies. So at low frequencies and at high frequencies and and the third is at mid frequencies okay so agar overall response if you see of bjt amplifier of voltage gain let us say this is a voltage gain and this is a frequency so overall response is constant 
for mid frequencies and uh, this reduces at low frequency and high frequencies okay and what is the reason that the reason of that is at high frequencies the transistor that is this it is having internal capacitances so these are the internal capacitance this is base this is collector and this is emitter okay so we have internal capacitances that is this is uh, called c mu and this is base to emitter called c pi okay now question is kya collector and emitter ke beech mein bhi koi internal capacitance hota hai so answer is no why why it is because let us say we have npn transistor and when we have a terminal emitter base and collector okay so when we make a npn transistor then we have a two types of junction okay this is called emitter junction and the second is called collector junction okay and transistor ko amplifier ki tarah work karane ke liye emitter junction has to be made forward bias and collector junction has to be made reverse bias okay since this emitter junction is forward bias its width of depletion region we is less than as compared to collector junctions collector junctions width of depletion region okay so collector junction width of depletion isliye capacitance of emitter junction is going to be larger than capacitor of collector junction okay so this much you know and the answer for this question is whether the capacitance internal capacitance is between c and e is no because there is no capacitance or there is no junction between emitter and collector okay so we have two type of internal capacitance so this c mu and c pi are causing the reduction of gain at high frequencies because at high frequencies the these capacitors are showing a finite impedance okay similarly at low frequencies in the transistor in the amplifier we have Uh, uh, coupling capacitor that is C1 and C2 and uh, we have a bypass capacitor. So due to that uh, coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor, these these uh, capacitors will you know let uh, or will make this reduction will make this reduction in the gain because at low frequencies these capacitors will show a finite impedance. Okay, but at uh, you know mid frequencies these capacitors are short circuit. These capacitors are short circuit in this range. at mid frequency these capacitors are short circuit and internal capacitors are open circuit okay so they at mid frequency they they do not show any effect right so uh, we in this video we are going to see uh, the analysis ac analysis at mid frequencies we will develop a problem solving technique and we will develop a thought process right whenever we see a question what should be our what should be our thinking okay and in the next video we will deal this with this low frequencies and high frequencies analysis okay so now uh, let us start with this mid frequencies okay now uh, when we are using this transistor in the circuit we want to you know find out uh, we, we want to apply kvl kcl and find out the node voltage or operating conditions okay for that we want to represent our transistor in terms of circuit okay so for that we have three methods okay or we can say uh, that is called small signal models okay so we have three types of model generally we have been using or we use in the in this uh, amplifiers questions okay so let us see about that small signal models so small signal models so we have three types of small signal models first is uh, hybrid model okay and second we have is pi model so first we have is hybrid model and the second is pi model and the third we have is re model okay although we will not be using these models in the questions but their parameters and relation interrelation between their parameters is going to be very important in the question and you should know that relation okay so a hybrid model apne network mein ek two port network ka topic hoga usme we have a two equations of h parameter okay one is voltage equation that is kvl equation that is v1 equals to h11 i1 plus h12 i2 those two equations we will be using in a hybrid model to make a hybrid model okay so and the i2 that is this is at input we have a kvl equation and at output we have kcl that is i2 is going to be h21 i1 plus h22 i2 okay to isse jab model banate hain to at input side we are we are applying kvl okay so when we apply kvl let us make a model this is v1 and when we apply kvl you see h11 is will be what v1 by i1 that is going to be resistance okay so here h11 resistance is connected and then h12 i2 okay so v1 is going to be what h11 i1 plus h12 okay this is not i2 i made it wrong this is v2 
ओके सो एच वन वन आई वन प्लस एच वन टू वी टू इन टू पोर्ट नेटवर्क वी हैव दिस एच पैरामीटर लोकेशन फर्स्ट इज के वी एल वी वन इक्वस टू एच वन वन आई वन प्लस एच वन टू वी टू एंड सेकंड इज एच टू वन आई वन प्लस एच टू टू वी टू ओके सो एच वन वन एंड द करंट फ्लोइंग इन दिस इज आई वन एंड हेयर वी विल हैव इन द मॉडल हेयर वी विल हैव अ वोल्टेज डिपेंडेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एच वन टू वी टू ओके एंड एट इनपुट साइड के वी एल इज डन एंड एट आउटपुट साइड वी विल बी अप्लाइंग के सी एल एंड द के सी एल वी हैव टू करंट दैट इज एच टू वन एच टू वन आई वन एंड अनदर करंट ओके सो दिस इज वी टू एंड दिस हेयर करंट इज कमिंग आई टू सो दिस करंट इज एच टू टू वी टू सो एच टू टू इफ यू सी एच टू टू इज गोइंग टू बी आई टू बाई वी टू दैट इज अपोजिट ऑफ इम्पीडेंस सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एडमिटेंस सो इफ आई इफ आई वॉन्ट टू राइट इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इम्पीडेंस दैन आई कैन राइट इट वन बाई एच टू टू ओके डन सो दिस इज अबाउट हाइब्रिड मॉडल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट डाउन दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉमन एमीटर फॉर कॉमन एमीटर वी कैन राइट फॉर कॉमन एमीटर कॉमन बेस एंड कॉमन कलेक्टर ऑल्सो बट जनरली क्वेश्चन आर मेड ऑन कॉमन एमीटर सो लेट एस राइट इट फॉर कॉमन एमीटर दैन दिस वी वन विल बी सी एच वन वन इज वॉट वी वन वाई आई वन दैट इज इनपुट इम्पीडेंस ओके सो सिंस दिस इज इनपुट इम्पीडेंस सो वी विल राइट एच आई बट इट इज फॉर वी आर राइटिंग इट फॉर कॉमन एमीटर तो हम इसको एच आई ई लिखते हैं राइट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एच आई ई I1, I1 will be what? IB because the current is coming input that is base current. So एच आई ई आई बी प्लस एच वन टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रिवर्स वोल्टेज गेन बिकॉज दिस इज वी वन बाई वी टू सो दिस इज एच आर ई वी टू ओके आई एल राइट इट फास्ट देन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आई टू बिकॉज टू आई टू इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट आई सी राइट सो आई सी इज एच एफ ई एच एफ ई वाई एच एफ ई दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आई टू बाई आई वन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज गेन सो एच एफ ई आई बी plus this is h o e output admittance h o e v2 okay but in case of common emitter this h r e is much much less than then it is negligible so we can neglect it and if we for common emitter now if we want to draw the model for uh, hybrid model for common emitter then it is going to be this is uh, v1 okay and uh, h r e we have made zero then it is going to be h i e okay and uh, the current here will be h f e into i b and uh, this is going to be 1 by h o e okay 1 by h o e and here we have a current i c and output is v2 so this is a hybrid model for common emitter okay so we are done hybrid model now let us look at the pi model so in the pi model at the input side we have a resistance r pi okay and i output side we have a current this is gm v pi and what is v pi v pi is the voltage across this r pi okay so this is v pi now we have a internal output impedance that is r not so this is how r pi model look like and in case of re model we have a resistor beta plus 1 times re this is beta plus 1 times re and at output side the current is coming is beta times ib okay so this is three types and we have one resistor okay output resistance or no internal output resistance generally uh, which is which is very high okay so uh, three types of uh, we have seen three types of model now we now the relation of the parameters of these models are important okay now if we compare all these three uh, uh, parameters or these three uh, models then what we can write is from this this hie equals to r pi equals to beta plus 1 times re okay so hie we can write r pi equals to beta plus 1 times re okay so r pi r pi expression we have is r pi equals to beta by gm okay and the gm you write is gm is ic by vt where vt is thermal voltage okay now uh, next we have is gm done r pi done and uh, re so re is ac emitter resistance its formula is re equals to vt upon ie okay and you know ic equals to alpha time ie then you can write is ic by alpha into vt okay and ic by vt is going to be gm we have seen 
so what we can write it is alpha y gm okay so if the if the case is ideal and alpha is not given now we can say alpha is 1 and then it is going to be 1 by gm so re ka formula is 1 by gm okay now what is r not r not is va by ic va is the early voltage okay you know we have ic vs vce plot and this is like this ideally it is saturated and it, the slope of this is constant but if it is not ideal then uh, does it has some slope and if you you know expand this in a negative vce direction then at the point at which this v this is cutting vce curve is going to be va okay and that is called early voltage okay ideally this is infinity and uh, so r naught is infinity ideally so we are done with this and uh, hfe hfe so hfe is beta okay so this relation so you should know and uh, r pi we can also write as r pi equals to vt by ib okay so this is how r pi we can write so this much relation uh, you should know to solve the problem okay so now uh, we will move with the problem solving technique okay so okay so in the questions you have you in the four categories you have a four categories or four configuration of the transistor that is common emitter common collector common base and common emitter has two so overall you have four configurations in the four configuration questions are made uh, in the question generally four things are asked okay so things are uh, voltage gain current gain and input impedance and output impedance okay in four all those four configurations we will see how we have to deal with this four uh, parameters that is voltage gain current gain and input impedance and output impedance okay so uh, let us see when we have a common emitter and second is common emitter with re and third one is common collector and fourth is common base okay so we will see how the parameters we will be writing for all these four cases okay yeah so the first case we will see is current gain okay so whatever the gain or the anything we will be writing all the whole parameter that is going to be internal okay so the first one is current gain that is ai okay so this is what this is internal current gain okay otherwise we do not uh, we will not have uh, space this is for common emitter with re and this is for common emitter okay so the first uh, parameter we have is current gain okay so common emitter current gain we have seen this is beta right so this is was beta and common emitter with re the current gain will not be affected it will be beta so in case of common collector we have seen the current gain was gamma and we can write it in terms of beta it is going to be 1 plus beta okay and current gain in case of common base this was we have seen alpha it was alpha equals to beta upon 1 plus beta okay and previous in the previous slide we have seen the beta we can write is hfe in terms of hybrid model okay so in the hybrid model in terms of hybrid model what we can write it is hfe okay okay let's not write it like this okay what we can write is or this is we can write hfe or this is hfe and in the common collector or we can write 1 plus hfe in case of common base we can write hfe upon 1 plus hfe okay so this is a common uh, uh, this is a current gain this is internal current gain okay so we are done with internal current gain in all the four categories right so now let us move to input impedance okay so internal input impedance okay so all these things are internal right internal this is also internal okay so internal current gain in case of common emitter 
when when there is not re then internal current gain is going to be r pi okay and in this case current gain is going to be r pi plus beta plus 1 times into re okay now in case of a common collector the current gain is going to be r pi plus beta plus 1 times re parallel with rl okay so whatever load is connected at the output at the emitter because we are taking output at emitter okay now in case of a common base the input impedance is going to be r pi upon 1 plus beta okay so what else you can write r pi is going to be beta by gm okay and 1 plus beta and beta by beta plus 1 what you can write is alpha we have seen in the previous side so it is going to be alpha by gm so internal input impedance in case of common waves directly you can write is alpha by gm okay so uh, this is about uh, you know a pi model and if you want to write it in terms of uh, you know this hybrid model uh, r pi what you can write is or you can write it is h i e and here what it will be this will be h i e plus 1 plus h f e into r e in case of common collector this is going to be h i e plus 1 plus h f e into r e parallel r l okay and here it is going to be h i e upon 1 plus h f e okay so this is all about internal input impedance so second uh, second parameter also we are done with now let us see internal voltage gain okay so av this is also internal okay okay so i want to give a formula with uh, for this that is yeah internal voltage gain formula we have is av internal iv avi internal okay internal voltage gain equals to internal current gain that is ai internal into load resistance okay there is not enough space okay so internal voltage gain formula what we have is av internal internal i i n i am writing so internal voltage gain equals to internal current gain ai internal into load resistance so whatever load rl dash i will call total load internal load resistance or total load resistance divided by internal input impedance okay r internal so this is the formula for internal voltage gain right so you can always use this but the shortcut i am going to tell you is in case of in case of common emitter okay the first thing uh, you have to uh, you know internal voltage gain you can directly write is minus gm into rl dash okay now in case of common emitter with re if you are given that beta is large or beta is very large see if beta is very large not given then you can always go with this method that is internal voltage gain equals to internal current gain into load resistance divided by internal input impedance right but if you are given that beta is large then directly what you can write is directly gain you can write minus gm into rl dash upon 1 plus gm into re okay similarly in case of common collector if you are given that beta is very large see if beta is large is not given so aapko yahi yahi question yahi formula use karna hai that is internal volt internal current gain into load resistance divided by internal input impedance okay but agar aapko beta large diya hua hai then what you have to use is gm gm rl dash whatever load is connected okay or uh, since load is connected at emitter so you can write gm re dash divided by 1 plus gm into re dash okay in case of uh, common base the internal voltage gain what you can write is gm into rl dash okay direct you can write so this is about internal voltage gain okay so now let us go to output impedance the fourth parameter we have is r naught this is also internal output impedance okay so in case of a common emitter it is infinity this is also common emitter then in this case it is infinity in case of common base also it is infinity but i will ask to remember for common collector that is 
R S plus H I E. Okay, so R S plus H I E upon one plus H F E. So this is the internal output impedance in case of common collector. Okay, so by looking this table, uh, it will be it will be looking complicated. Uh, you know uh, how to remember this, but automatically you know it will be on your finger uh, tips. Okay, when you will be solving some problems, right? So you have you can write it with two to three times uh, with your uh, pen and paper, and and this will automatically you need you know automatically it will be remembered to you. Okay, when we will solve the questions, it will uh, automatically remember to you. Okay, now uh, let us move. Let us see a next shortcut. Whenever you see a question where a one feedback resistance is connected between base and collector, and one resistor is there with within the base that is R S, either it can be source resistance or any normal resistance is connected here, and you are asked to find out gain. What generally people do is they will be using Miller's theorem, okay? And what Miller's theorem is, it, this will be you know uh, separated. This will be uh, you know distributing this resistor into two resistance. One is will be R one in the input side, and one will be R two in the output side. And R one what you write is R F. Divided by one minus AB, where AB is internal voltage gain, and what R two you will write is RF divided by one minus one by AB. Okay, if the 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 you know element in between base and collector is uh, resistive. Okay, if it is uh, capacitive, what you write is C one. This is CF into one minus AB, and C two what you write is CF into one minus one by AB. Okay, but if you go with this method, this is going to be long method. Okay, so the shortcut I am going to tell you is, whenever you see such type of circuit, then and you are asked the voltage gain, so approximate voltage gain, what you can write is, approximate. Okay, so approximate voltage gain, what you can directly write is minus R F by R S. Okay, this you have to use in the questions. Okay. If the question is not NAT, okay. If question is NAT, then you have to go with that method. But generally, uh, questions are framed. Uh, you know, they will be giving you uh, four options. So you have to use this method. Okay, this is approximate gain. And if you want to write actual gain, then actual gain is slightly less than. Okay, uh, mod of actual gain you can say it is slightly less than this approximate gain. Okay. So if let us say approximate is gain is coming ten, then actual gain you will get is nine point eight or nine point five to ten something, right? So this is how you have to use. Don't go with this method. This is going to be long method. Okay. Now let us see a question on this. So this is the P Y Q, and uh, this was asked, and we are given R F is ten hundred k, and R S we are given is ten k, and we are given beta is hundred, and we are asked magnitude of uh, the voltage gain. And you know on the question they have, they have been asking the You know, approximate gain, right? So for that, what you have to do is always use that formula. That is, A V equals to minus R F by R one. Okay, and with this formula, what you will get is minus R F. What you have minus hundred k, and R one is ten k. So the answer is minus ten. Okay, so mod of A V is going to be ten. So this is approximate, right? And approximate question me pucha tha. Okay, so the the correct option we will have is D. Okay, similar question. Uh, this is also P Y Q question. Okay, so in the question we are given beta DC sixty V B. We are given H I infinity. Okay, H I cannot be infinity. This might be zero. Okay, yeah, H I zero uh, and H F E we are given infinity. C is very large. Okay, so again uh, the uh, resistance between base and collector is connected and one resistance at base. So output, uh, you know, output uh, gain or gain voltage gain. What we can directly is fifty three k divided by five point three k. And this is negative because this is common emitter. So gain what will be minus ten? Okay, this is approximate gain. And uh, in the question, uh, yeah. So the correct option this is negative. So correct option we will have is A. So if you see such type of circuits, then directly you should use this formula. Okay, this is the shortcut. Now let us move to next questions. So this is the question, and in the question what we are given is H F E hundred, H I E two K, H R H R E. We are given zero and H O E. Okay, from this this is H O E. Unit is more than in the ohm. What we can write resistance that is H O E one by H O E is one by zero point zero five into ten to the power minus three. So this is going to be hundred by five k. Okay. So this is going to be V K twenty k. Okay. Now what we are asked is output impedance. Okay. So whenever you see a question, the first whenever you see a, you know any B J T A C analysis question, the first thing you should know is what uh, configuration it is. It is a common emitter, okay? So I will write. So step one, step one has to be configuration. 
first you have to identify the configuration what configuration it is and second step is step 2 is you have to identify or you have to comment on rs whether rs is zero that rs is a force resistance okay or rs is not zero okay when rs is zero so directly a uh, voltage gain uh, you can write is av equals to minus gm rls and the important thing is here this is overall voltage gain so av overall this is equals to okay i will not write this way so in this case av internal is going to be av overall av overall equals to minus gm into rl dash if rs is zero okay and the the transistor is common emitter then you and common emitter without re okay from there you can re, see uh, this is a common emitter without re if rf is not zero then av internal okay i will not write it gm rl dash let's make it more general okay so the internal voltage gain will be overall voltage gain when rs is not zero then overall voltage gain will be internal voltage gain into some factor and what will be that factor you know uh, when we have seen the hybrid model there will be internal impedance r pi right so that is going to be r i or it can be anything because th this time here is a 50k and 10k and if if there is a rs then this will be changed right 50k and 10k parallel will also come in picture with r pi so what we can write general is r i okay so whatever r i is there then r i plus r s so this will be overall voltage gain this will not be equal to internal voltage gain in this case okay but now let us move come to the question the question is output impedance we have to find out okay so output impedance uh, we are given hybrid uh, you know hybrid parameters then if we make it hybrid model you know one arch one by hoe which it will be coming in output okay and we know internal impedance of the common emitter is internal output impedance of common emitter is infinity okay so directly what you can write our output is infinity that is internal in parallel with you know when you make it ac this will be grounded okay this vcc will be grounded and one register uh, this emitter will also be sorted okay let us make it this is the first question we will write everything so when you will be doing ac analysis okay so when you will be doing ac analysis then what you will do is this will be sorted because capacitor uh, we, this uh, will be bypassed okay and this collector from the collector you will have 5k okay and uh, this both register will come in parallel so this is going to be 50k in parallel with 10k okay and uh, capacitor will be sorted and here we have input so this is how the circuit will be you know redrawn when you are doing ac analysis okay in ac analysis the output uh, se, uh, from the collector we are taking and uh, the output is this okay and we are asked output impedance so from this here we'll be looking overall output impedance r naught is going to be 5k parallel with ro okay and ro internal is going to be infinity but hybrid in the hybrid model we have a 1 by hoe term so this is going to be what 5k parallel with 1 by hoe okay and parallel with okay and parallel with internal impedance right that is okay that is infinity internal output impedance is infinity so this is going to be 5k parallel with 1 by hoe what we have is 20k and anything in parallel with infinity is going to be that thing only okay so this is going to be uh, 25 into 20 into 5 is going to be 100k divided by 25k okay so the answer you will get is 4k so the correct option with this we will have is option d okay so this is how you have to proceed with the you know uh, questions okay whenever you see uh, that is whenever you see any question on this ac analysis the first thing you have to check the configuration which configuration it is and from the table you have to go with that uh, you know uh, data only with that parameters only and uh, step two you have to check rs okay input uh, input resistance that is source resistance whether it is zero or not if input resistance is zero see one here is no resistance then uh, whatever input it is vi whatever input it is capacitor will be sorted when we will be doing ac analysis so whatever input vi here it will come to base and the vbe will be same if no re is there right so what i am saying is whenever rs is zero then internal voltage gain will be external voltage gain and uh, when rs is not zero then uh, one factor will become internal will come in picture okay next question 
so the question we are given this and we are asked we are given beta equals to 800 and we are asked that we output by v input okay so voltage gain pucha hai so first step is going to be we have to identify the configuration okay so if you see uh, input is given at base and output we are taking from emitter so this is going to be and collector is grounded this is going to be common collector okay and common collector may be you see given beta equals to 100 800 okay so we can assume that the beta is uh, you know large it is greater than 500 then we can assume it large okay and uh, in the common collector uh, we know if beta is large the voltage can directly what we can write it what, what we can write is uh, gm into rl dash okay or gm re dash divided by 1 plus gm into re dash okay and re dash you know this is a 470 okay and uh, gm how you will find out ic by vt okay and uh, for ic vt you know vt is not given then you can assume 25 millivolt and uh, ic is I see you have to find out okay so for that you have to do DC analysis and then it's part of a network only right you have to do KVL and then you will you can find out IC okay but if you see the option option are given 0 1 less than 1 or 800 okay so from option also you do not have to go you know with the exact metal or you can go with the approximate metal okay so a GM RL dash is will be greater than 1 right so with respect to gmre or gm this is re dash gmre dash so with respect to gmre dash uh, you can neglect this one okay and if you neglect what you get is gmre dash divided by gm into re dash okay so this is approximate so approximate you will get gain 1 okay so generally a common collector is having gain almost 1 okay so correct option with this is c right let us go to the next question okay so this is the question and uh, again we have to identify the configuration so if you check the configuration output is taken from collector this is collector this is emitter and this is base output we are taking from collector and input we are giving at base so this is going to be common emitter okay so in the common emitter we are given vb 0.7 re we are given and beta and c capacitors are very large so in ac on mid band gain we know the capacitor will be sorted the all capacitor will be sorted and if this capacitor will be sorted then this will be what common emitter with re or common emitter without re this will be common emitter without re because if you do the if you do the ac analysis this capacitor will be sorted and the current will be bypassing with this uh, capacitor not uh, it will not be going to 2.3k okay now uh, again uh, next thing we have to check is whether rs is there if rs is not there then overall voltage is gone okay av overall is going to be av internal okay so av internal and the rs is not there this is a common emitter case without re so directly gain what you can write av you can write is minus gm into rl dash okay and rl dash will be what let us do ac analysis you do not need to make small signal models okay if you do ac analysis 3k this 9 volt will be dc then this will be removed it means it will be grounded then this is going to be 3k and another register will come 3k okay and uh, here uh, you are taking output and uh, this 20k and 10k will come in parallel okay so this is going to be 20k parallel with 10k okay and uh, this is capacitor will be sorted and input vi is connected you are asked the mid band voltage gain okay so gm uh, rl dash you know rl dash is going to be from here you can find rl dash is 3k parallel with 3k so this is going to be 1.5k okay that is 1500 okay now gm you have to find and gm you know gm is going to be ic by vt okay and vt is given 25 millivolt okay re you can see re is what we have seen is vt by ie okay so vt you are given 25 millivolt so ic divided by 25 millivolt now what we have to find out ic okay so for that from here do the dc analysis now it's a part of network so you have to use kvl only kvl kcl okay so from this you look at this and find out rth vth okay if you do dc analysis and find out rth vth what you will get is 10 into 20 is going to be 300 right sorry 200 200 by 20 plus uh, 10 so rth what you will get rth plus 2 200 divided by 30 okay and vth what you will get 10 by 30 into 9 so vth is going to be 10 by voltage division rule okay 10 by 30 into 9 so this is going to be 3 volt so vth you got 3 volt and you know uh, beta is very large then if beta is large so if beta is very large 
what it will is what it is telling is ic is going to almost equals to ie and iv is going to be zero almost zero okay so uh, from this you are doing dc analysis then uh, dc analysis this capstar will be open and 2.3 will come in picture then 2.3k and uh, from here we are doing dc analysis then capstar will be open and 13k is connected okay and then this is 9 volt all right so this is 2.3k this is grounded now apply kvl okay so this is 3 volt so if you apply kvl 3 minus c no current is coming okay ib is 0 0 ampere then voltage drop across this rt is going to be 0 so 0 into rth is going to be 0 and then minus vbe we are given 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 minus 2.3 into ie okay this is re and current in collect and the you know common emitter in uh, emitter in emitter terminal current will be flowing ie so ie from this we will get is 3 minus 2.7 is going to be 2.3 divided by 2.3 or this is going to be in milliampere okay so what we will get is 1 1 milliampere okay and this ie this ie is nearby equals to ic because beta is very large so we got ic and uh, gm from here what we can find is 1 by 25 both are in milli then it will be 1 by 25 okay so gain what you will get gain minus gm is what 1 by 25 and r l dash is 1500 so what you will get 5 and then this is going to be 300 so this is going to be minus 60 so the correct option is t okay so this is how you can find out easily and you do not need to make you know a small signal model okay so let us see your next questions okay, so next question we have is this is the question we are given vb 0.7 beta is given 200 okay and vt is 25 millivolt we have to find out v output by vi okay so first step is going to be find out the configuration so input is given at base this is the terminal base this is output is taken from collector so this is going to be common emitter and that too is see if you do ac analysis that this this register will be uh, bypassed but this register will be there so this is going to be common emitter with re okay and in common emitter with re so and the next thing you have to check is configuration you have check and check is you have to check is rs if rs is zero or not rs is not zero then internal voltage gain is going to be overall voltage gain okay so uh, we will be you know uh, doing a v output by vi and that's going to be vi is vbe only right the vi is v, vb only so internal voltage gain is external voltage gain okay now how how will be solving this we are we know a common emitter with re we are given and can we use that formula we have seen direct formula gm gm rls upon 1 plus gm into re can we use this or not we cannot use this because beta is not given very large it's 200 we cannot say it's a very large if it is greater than 500 or 800 or 1000 or either it is mentioned in the question okay then only we can use it otherwise we cannot use it okay so then uh, what formula we have to use we have to go with the basic that is internal voltage gain equals to internal current gain into load resistance divided by internal input impedance okay so load resistance you know what is load see if you do ac analysis this 5k will come down to ground so collector to ground will be 5k so rl will be 5k okay and uh, internal current gain that is beta so internal current gain that is beta because it is common emitter and we are given it is 200 okay so what we have to find then ri and ri the case is common emitter with re so common emitter with re the r pi is ri is r pi plus beta plus 1 times re okay re you know what re is this is 10 okay so you can write and r pi you have to find and uh, r pi for r pi r pi is beta by gm beta you know but gm you have to find out and uh, gm what you can write ic by vt okay so ic you have to find ultimately okay so for that you have to go to dc analysis and dc analysis is a part of network right so let us do a dc analysis then okay in the dc analysis look from here and find out rth and vth okay so if you do this will be vth and this is going to be rth and this is this and you are doing dc analysis this will be open and this is going to be 1k and 10 what you can write is 0.01k yet yeah so 1.01k re will be there 1.01k and uh, 5k is connected and then uh, 12 volt battery so from this uh, this vbe you are given 0.7 and you have to apply K kvl here 
so for uh, applying kvl you should know vth and rth okay so let us find out what is going to be vths apply a voltage division rule so 11 by 33 plus 11 is going to be 44 into into 12 okay so 11 4 and 4 3 so vth you will get 3 volt and rth what you will get is uh, parallel of both uh, these three resistors okay so let us find out rth it's going to be 11 into 33 divided by what 44 okay so this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 33 by 4 okay so 8 point and uh, 2 5 okay so 8.25 k so 8.25 k now apply kvl so kvl if you write this is going to be 3 minus 8.25 into ib and i you know i is going to be what i equals to beta plus 1 times ib so ib what you can write ie by beta plus 1 why i want to write in terms of uh, you know i is i by beta plus 1 because uh, here uh, we'll also we will have ie and we need we need ic okay so this is 0, 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 minus 1.01 1.01 into i equals to 0 okay so this is going to be 3 minus 0 0.7 is going to be 2.3 and divided by i if you take common then what you will get is 8.25 divided by beta plus 1 is beta is 200 and 200 plus 1 is going to be 201 plus what what next you have to write 1.01 .01, okay so if you do this calculation so what ie you will get is okay so ie from this what you will calculate you will get is 2.2 .2 milliampere okay and uh, ie is going to be and ic if you find out ic will come in this range only so ic is going to be 2.2 .2 milliampere so from this gm we can find gm going to be ic by vt so 2.2 .2 divided by 25 so gm we have found and uh, from this if you do r pi if you find out r pi r pi is going to beta by gm and beta you know 200 and gm is going to be 2.2 .2 into 25 okay so if you solve this the r pi what you will get is 2.27 k okay so r pi you have found out and uh, from this you can find out now re okay so let us do it uh, in the next page r is going to be r pi plus beta plus 1 times r e so r r a is going to be r pi plus beta plus 1 times r e okay and r pi is you have find out 2.27 k plus beta plus 1 means 201 into r e what r e is 1.01 .01, okay so what what it is going to be re what you have no re is 10 in the ac analysis re is going to be 10 only right mm -hmm. so this 10 means okay 10 means it's going to be 0 0.01 k right so this is k this is k and uh, overall in chrome so what you will get so 2.27 plus 2.01 so what you'll get 4.28k okay so ri this is ri you got and uh, if you put in this formula this is ai rl by i ri so voltage gain is going to be ai into rl divided by ri so ai you have is 200 and this is going to be negative because it's common emitter and rl what you have is rl you have is 5k divided by this is 4.28k okay so if you solve this this is going to be 1000 divided by 4.28 okay this is negative so if you divide it what you will get is minus 233.645 so this is the answer of this question okay so uh, you, the time you have taken in a dc analysis otherwise you do not need to make uh, you know a uh, small signal model and in ac analysis you do not have to do uh, you know many things that's the thing you have to do only in dc analysis okay so so this is the transistor we have uh, we are going to develop a shortcut okay so shortcut is that whenever you have a transistor right you have a base register you have an emitter register so if you look at from the emitter terminal the resistance seen is r equals to r, r equals to alpha by gm okay so resistance if you see from here this is alpha by gm plus rb upon 1 plus beta okay if you look at from emitter terminal okay and if you look at from a collector uh, the resistance is going to be r naught and if you look at from the base then this is going to be 
एच आई ई प्लस वन प्लस एच एफ ई इन टू आर ई ओके दिस इज गोइंग टू बी इंटरनल रजिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बेस सो फ्रॉम लुकिंग फ्रॉम लुकिंग द टर्मिनल्स फ्रॉम कलेक्टर बेस एंड एमीटर वाट द रजिस्टेंस सीन इन टू द यू नो ट्रांजिस्टर ओके दैट वी हैव रिटर्न ओके एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वैन यू सी अ प्रॉब्लम वैन यू हैव अ मल्टीपल ट्रांजिस्टर्स ओके नाउ लेट अस सी दैट so this is the you know question and we are given v input from this q1 and we are taking output from collector of this and we we have to find out voltage gain okay so in in such type of question what you have to do is you have to see which one is acting as a load and which one it acting which one is acting as a uh, amplifier okay so if you see the the load is going to be or amplifier you have to identify amplifier and load right so amplifier which one will be amplifier the one Which is having both input and output, okay? Having both input and output, okay? So the, the, the amplifier which is having input and output. See, if the Q one is having input and output, so this is going to be amplifier, and this thing, this is going to be load, and you have to replace it by let us say R equivalent, okay? So if you if you draw this, this is emitter, emitter is having you know V output, this is V input. Input see base is grounded, and uh, emitter is having input. Output is taken from collector. So this is going to be what common base, okay? And in common base, the gain we have told what is G M into R L S, okay? And R L S is connected at collector, at collector, okay? And collector is R equivalent. So this is going to be G M into R equivalent. Now how to find out this R equivalent? We have seen whenever you see at the base, okay? Whenever you see, you are seeing. At base terminal, okay. So uh, at base terminal, looking at base terminal, what is the R? We have seen in the previous video, previous slide. So at base terminal, you are looking. This is going to be H I plus one plus H F E into R E, right? So this is R equal to equals to H I E plus one plus H F E into R E, okay. And in this case, emitter is not having any resistance, so this is going to be zero. So R equal to what you got is H I E, and H I E is called R pi only, right? Now let us put in this. So voltage gain, what you can write is G M equals to G M into R equivalent is what R pi, okay? And R pi is beta by G M. So G M G M is for first transistor, and this is R pi two. So voltage gain for this is going to be G M into R pi two, okay? So this is how you have to deal with such type of questions. Now let us see another such type of questions. So this is the question. Now one shortcut is whenever base and collector are connected right together, then this is called active load. Okay, this is called active load, and this is amplifier because uh, ampli this this transistor is having both input and output. This is amplifier. Okay, and this is common emitter for common emitter directly gain. What you can write is minus G M into R L S. Okay, and R L S is this. And this is a active load. And active load, if you look at from this, you can replace this by resistor. So what you can write is like this. This is grounded, and uh, one resistor is connected. Okay, that is called uh, let us say R L S. Okay, so this is V input and output I am taking from here. So R L S, how you will write? You are looking at the emitter terminal. So if you look at emitter terminal, what we have seen? So R equivalent is going to be alpha by G M. Plus R B upon one plus beta. Okay, so R B is zero because no resistor is connected at base. So R B will going to be zero and R equivalent will be alpha by G M. Okay. If nothing is given, then we can say alpha. It is ideal. Then we can say alpha is one. So it is one by G M. So R equivalent you got. This is R L S only. So what gain you will get is minus G M. Okay, this G M is for Q one, right? Because Q one is amplifier and this is for Q two. So minus G M one by B G M two. So this is the gain. So this is how you can solve such type of question easily. But uh, you you can note down from this whenever you see active load, the R equivalent you can directly write is alpha by G M. Okay. Now let us implement this one. Okay. Let us implement the R equivalent is alpha by G M. See, next question is input is at this terminal and output is taken. So this is acting as amplifier. And this is acting as active load. Why active load? Base and collector are connected together. Okay, so this is active load. Okay, so if you will go to make uh, you know making its uh, 
a small signal model then it's going to take much time right so the shortcut is this you go by direct and you you have to you know you, you should be able to find out the resistance okay now active load and amplifier we have uh, you know identified and then output will be we will be replacing this by rl dash and rl dash pro active load we have seen it is alpha by gm okay so output this is common emitter so gain the gain for this what we can write is minus gm2 into rl dash okay and rl dash is alpha by gm1 for this is a q1 okay so what gain you are going to get is minus gm2 into 1 by gm1 so this is how you should solve such type of questions okay let us go to the next questions so the question we are given is a bjt in a common base configuration is used so common base configuration we are given this is common base base will be grounded this is base and this is grounded okay this is collector this is emitter at emitter we give input right so what we are given is a bjt in a common base configuration is used to amplify a signal received by a 50 ohm antenna so some antenna might be connected here and from this we are receiving okay signal and uh, we are given it input to the emitter so, or the resistance of this uh, this antenna resistance of this antenna is 50 ohm so what we are given uh, ic milli ampere so we have to find out this current ic right so we have to find out this current ic in milli ampere such that required to make uh, to match the input impedance of the amplifier to the impedance of antenna okay so this impedance is matching with the input impedance looking from here right so we know if we look at uh, from emitter terminal the r that we what we will get is alpha by gm plus rb upon 1 plus beta right and rb we are not given then this is going to be zero so r you, what you will get is alpha by gm and alpha nothing is mentioned then we can assume it 1 by gm because alpha we can say 1 and uh, r 1 by gm and then r it is matching to the uh, resistance of this antenna that is 50 okay so gm what you will get is 1 by 50 and you know gm is ic by vt okay this is 1 by 50 and uh, what vt you are given ic we will get the vt you are given 25 millivolt so 25 milli divided by 50 so this is going to be 1 by 2 okay this is uh, 0 0.5 milli ampere okay so this is how you should solve such type of questions now let us go to next okay so whenever you see a question where you know two back to back uh, the, the you know common emitter this is a common collector because input is given at base and output taken from emitter and this is a vcc if you do ac analysis this will be grounded so this is common collector this is common collector this is called uh, actually darlington pair okay this is darlington pair okay so for that uh, overall gain we are found so directly b total beta total you can write is beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 1 into beta 2 okay so you shouldn't go with the you know making the small signal model and finding out this you directly you should go so 100 plus 100 plus 100 into 100 okay so what you will get is this is going to be 200 okay so what you will get 10200 so beta total is going to be this okay so let us go to next yeah so we are done uh, we have seen uh, some questions and uh, you know how we should uh, go with the uh, sol uh, solution of the questions and uh, you should know this okay you have to do uh, you know practice and this will automatically be on your finger points okay so you don't have to worry about it like we have to remember this so this is all about uh, the you know mid frequency analysis of bjt amplifier ac analysis and in the next video we will see uh, low frequencies and high frequency analysis and then we will see ac analysis of mosfets okay so we will end this video here